On our planet, there seems to be an infinite number of beautiful places one can visit with an equal number of spectacular things to admire. It requires nothing more than a curiosity to observe what is all around you. The miracle of nature manifests in countless ways, from breathtaking vistas to the simple movements of a common heifer. The purpose of this program is to present you with the extraordinary diversity of our miraculous blue planet so that you can discover these things for yourself. Today, we shall visit the windswept Patagonia with its amazing glaciers. Then, we lose ourselves in the midst of Europe's only steppe, the Hungarian Pusta, where the local wonder includes hot springs. As we continue to Belize, we admire the Southern Hemisphere's largest coral reef and mystical cave system. We will end our journey in New Zealand, where we will explore White Island, one of the most fascinating and accessible volcanoes on Earth. But we begin at the windswept outpost of South America. Argentina's Patagonia borders the country of Chile and stretches from the Andes all the way to the Atlantic. The central region is dominated by a vast plain or steppe, while the Atlantic coast boasts majestic cliffs and abundant wildlife. It is indeed a very windy place. The local population, as well as the trees, have adapted to the endless centuries of assault by the wind, eventually succumbing to its direction. The Los Glaciers National Park, located in the vicinity of Cape Horn, is one of the largest natural wonders on our planet. It is located in the southwestern part of the province of Santa Cruz. A year-round blanket of ice covers this protected area of 4,459 square kilometers of mountains, glaciers, and lakes. Lake Argentio might be considered just another ordinary lake in the region, were it not for the impressive and intriguing Perito Moreno Glacier. Perito Moreno Glacier is an absolute must-see while in Argentina. There are only a handful of places in the world where nature is as impressive and accessible as this glacier. It is noteworthy that while most glaciers in the world are receding, the Perito Moreno Glacier is actually advancing. It is famous worldwide for its glacier fracture. Ruptures occur when the front of the glacier reaches the coastal margin. The passage of the water from Brazo Rico closes and produces a dam effect whereby the water rises some 20 meters. The show is never ending. One can watch the detachment of ice blocks of various sizes from a short distance. As the ice breaks apart, it generates a distinctive roar and then crashes into the sea as floating icebergs. The biggest crashes have been known to occur in the afternoons on sunny days. The width of the Perito Moreno Glacier is 4,500 meters. It rises 60 meters above the water level and drops 130 meters below the water level. Its length is about 37 kilometers. The total mass of the glacier is the size of the city of Buenos Aires.
Now that we've observed the mountainous relief and icy splendor of the Andes, we set off for Europe's largest step. We are bound for the country of Hungary. There lies a place in the midst of an overpopulated Europe that romantic poets write about. That place is the Hungarian Pusta, also known as the Great Hungarian Plain. One such poet described it as the awful flatland where the stars seem farther away. There is no sunset quite like that which occurs here. The River Tisa flows from Ukraine along the Slovak border into Hungary and spills into a lake of the same name. Its water, the Hungarians claim, is velvety smooth. This stands as a testimony to the victory of nature against the misguided intentions of the Hungarian government from the 1970s. During that decade, the Hungarian government decided to build a dam on the River Tisa. It's not clear if their rationale was irrigation or flood control or some other less logical motive, like wanting to appear environmentally proactive. Regardless of their intention, the impact on the surrounding ecology was catastrophic. Fortunately, over time, deposits of sediment in parts of the dam built up to create a splendid wetland that attracted an abundance of birds and other animals. Today, it is hard to imagine that this lake was created by more than nature alone. There is no country quite like Hungary. Situated in the very heart of Europe, this kidney-shaped country claims a unique influence on the soul of the continent. You are on the Hungarian steppe. This area is an extensive plain. It is notable both as a physical feature and an unforgettable sight. It is the land of scorching summers and bitter winters, the land of shimmering mirages. The Hungarians refer to the great Hungarian plain as the flatland of Alföld. To a large extent, it has been turned into agricultural land. Here, ancient breeds of domestic animals, as well as endemic bird life, thrive on some 800 square kilometers. About 40% of the steppe has been preserved as grassland and protected as the Hortobagi National Park. Here we find wildlife that has endlessly roamed the steppe. The Hungarian great cattle are among the best known breed of cattle. These hardy animals have completely adapted to the local landscape. They remain outdoors all year round and play an important role in the upkeep of the grasslands. Today, this unique area is entirely a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. In their national anthem, Hungarians sing, Pity, O Lord, the Hungarians, who are tossed by dangerous waves. Extend over us your guarding arm on the sea of our misery, long torn by ill fate. Bring upon us a time of relief, they who have suffered for all sins of the past and future. The Lord indeed did have pity and blessed the land with the abundance of hot springs. The Hungarian Pusta has emerged as the leading European spa destination as a result of the presence of this liquid gold. Even the ancient Romans claimed in Balneus Salus, meaning literally, there is health in bathing. Springs that emerge from depths of over 1,000 meters contain large amounts of salt, sodium, iodine, fluoride, iron, manganese, and over 20 other mineral substances, including asphalt, which gives the water a dark brownish hue. And from time to time, a unique shape too. This particular limestone formation materialized over many decades. Minerals are burned out from water that erupts from the earth at some 70 degrees Celsius. Then, they subsequently cool and are turned into a whitish rock that seems to resemble glaciers. 
Similar formations are found in both the United States and Turkey. It is early morning, and tussled mist lies lazily over the landscape. It feels almost surreal. On the horizon, where the Alfold lowland begins to rise into the Matra mountain range, we can see horses. The local specialty is the Lipizzaner, a breed renowned as the exclusive breed seen in the Habsburg court. By observing the terrain, one can read the chronicles of humanity itself. The tale of European history is recorded in the countless petrifications that permeate every square kilometer. The white limestone gorge near the village of Kazar was very likely formed by erosion occurring over millions of years. The stalactical cave of Ajtelik is yet another example of a time scale. Here, in the limestone massif, originates one of the most captivating karst caves in the world. The entire complex is comprised of 700 stalactical halls that are interconnected through a network of underground rivers and the neighboring Slavonic karst. The largest stalactite cave of Europe is situated in this area. The Baradla cave is 26 kilometers long, of which eight kilometers lies in Slovakia and is known as Domika. The Baradla Cave is the most significant, most studied, as well as the longest and richest cave not only in this region, but in the whole of Hungary. Its activity, its length, its stalactites and stalagmites make it the most prominent cave in the temperate zone. Several of the caves have unique features. For instance, the Peace Cave has a sanatorium which helps in the treatment of people suffering from asthma. And because of the cave's superb acoustics, it is highly regarded as a venue for concerts. Next, we're off to the Caribbean and the country of Belize. Travelers from around the globe are drawn to the natural attractions found in Mother Nature's best kept secret, Belize. Throngs are lured by the seductive promise of a relaxing, yet rewarding Caribbean getaway experience. Cozily nestled between Mexico and Guatemala on the Caribbean coast of Central America, Belize is one of the few remaining impeccable places on Earth. Off the shore of Belize lies the largest barrier reef in the Western Hemisphere. Hundreds of coralline and mangrove-covered islands line this remarkable formation. One will be delighted to discover that three of the four coral atolls of the Southern Hemisphere lie just here. Along the 185-mile-long Belize barrier reef, divers and snorkelers alike encounter abundant marine life underpinned by a kaleidoscope of color. In this part of the Caribbean Ocean, one can admire underwater coral gardens with over 70 types of hard corals, some 500 species of fish, the distinguished blue hole, playful dolphins, fascinating whale sharks, subdued sea turtles, and graceful eagle rays.
The Five Sisters Waterfalls are located in the scenic Mountain Pine Ridge Forest Reserve. This is the largest protected area in Belize, which boasts an immense rainforest and natural wildlife sanctuary. The Five Sisters obtained its name from the five perfectly gushing waterfalls and the numerous crystalline pools that form part of this natural wonder. These waterfalls empty into the famous Pravacian River, which meanders through the heart of the forest reserve. Belize is home to the largest cave system in all of Central America. It's hard to believe that such cavernous spaces could be carved out of solid rock with nothing but water. What starts as just a few little drops slowly becomes a trickle. The trickle then turns into underground rivers. Today, much of the geological structure of Belize is what is known as karst landforms. These are created when carbon dioxide infused water passes through the soil and becomes mildly acidic. Slowly, over time, limestone begins to dissolve, creating breaks in the rock. Such breaks allow even more water to flow through, resulting in ideal conditions for the formation of underground caves and rivers. In fact, should one plot these on a map, it would soon be discovered that the southern half of the country is completely dotted with them. Scientists have been studying Belizean cave systems since the 1960s. By 1984, researchers had documented 65 sites, most of which are not yet accessible to the general public. from the Caribbean. Let us take the shortest possible route to meet the unique thermal system found in the country of New Zealand. Kia ora, Aotearoa. Welcome to New Zealand. The area known as the Bay of Plenty in New Zealand lies at the intersection of the Indo-Australian and Pacific continental plates. The pressure created by the collision of these two plates causes volcanic activity in the area and the continued warming of the Earth's crust. The dominant feature of this area is the Mount Tarawera volcano, whose eruption in 1886 distinctly changed the local landscape. During a single night, the eruption created a 17-kilometer-long rocky crevice and 22 craters, while at the same time managing to cover 15,000 square kilometers with volcanic ash and mud up to 20 meters thick. 150 people died that apocalyptic night. White Island, named by Captain James Cook, got its name thanks to the white clouds that seemed to emerge from it. Today, 
White Island is the most active volcano in New Zealand. The landscape inescapably reminds one of something out of a novel by Jules Verne. Dandelions are replaced by sulfate and creeks bubble as a result of considerable temperatures. White Island is one of the most fascinating and accessible volcanoes on Earth. As New Zealand's only live marine volcano, scientists and volcanologists worldwide are attracted by its unique features. The volcano is estimated to be between 100 and 200,000 years old. However, the small portion of the island that is visible above sea level has been in its present form for an estimated 16,000 years. Walking on White Island is almost like walking on the moon. Virtually no vegetation survives the harsh, acidic environment inside the crater walls. Instead, lush beds of yellow and white sulfur crystals grow amongst hissing, steaming, bubbling fumaroles. Thankfully, New Zealand is not just about volcanoes and thermal springs. The dramatic coastline near Auckland is forever being washed by the surf of the Tasmanian Sea. When Captain James Cook aboard the ship Endeavour landed here in 1769, he named this the Bay of Plenty as a testament to the numerous prospering Maori communities settled here. Flocks of Australasian gannets migrate yearly across the Tasman lowland. Here on the Murawai beach, they form the biggest colony of its kind each year. Gannets are seabirds. They feed on fish and thrive on coastlines. They catch fish below the sea surface. To facilitate this, they are endowed with powerful beaks and a uniquely formed skull with air-filled sinuses. Gannets have hydrodynamic muscular bodies with powerful necks, strong legs, and webbed feet. They spend more time on the coast than on the open sea. They fly very efficiently and can swim for several meters below the surface of the water in search of fish. Our journey to the miraculous nooks of our planet comes to an end, for now. On the next exploration of our compelling and bountiful planet Earth, we will travel to the north of the United Kingdom to encounter some dramatic mountain sceneries, the Scottish Highlands, a place where the best whiskey in the world is made and where the men still wear skirts. Actually, they're called kilts. On the shores of Lake Baikal, the largest, deepest and oldest lake in the world, we'll taste local fish and the vodka they make out of milk. 
to conclude, we will explore Spanish Andalusia and the mysterious Sierra Nevada mountain range. That's all right here on Miracles of Nature. <laughs> <laughs>